Hey Melida, I know it's been a while, but Dexter, Merida, and I are going to Merida today. I'm super excited. I miss it like it's my hometown. So I am really stoked to go. I think these guys are ready. You excited, Dexter? Are you gonna go to Merida? You gonna show Merida, Merida? Merida, you're gonna visit Merida. Oh. You guys stay in the shop. All right, we'll work on it. We made it to Merida. It feels so good to be back in the only town that ever felt like home. Um, I'm excited. I can already smell the humidity. And the babies made it. How was your first flight, Marina? <laughs> All right, we're gonna get our bags and I'll show you more of Merida, Merida. Hey, Melida. I know I've been horrible about vlogging while I've been in Merida. Mostly I've been just kicking it with friends. Um, I went to a party and we killed a unicorn. And now I want to take you around one of my favorite places in Merida, the cemetery. So this cemetery is super easy to get to. It's down Calle 81. I will put the address in the description, but it is like, so far it's the coolest cemetery I've ever seen in all of Mexico. It's, um, I wish I knew how old it was, I don't, um, but there is something really special here that I gotta show you guys, but before we get my favorite part. I love, there's so many of these angels telling you, shh. So if you guys would like to come see the cemetery, it's open every day until 5 p.m. But also on Wednesday nights, you can come and get a nighttime tour that starts at 8 p.m., which I highly recommend. Okay, now we're at one of the monuments that I really wanted to tell you guys about. This yellow monument is for Felipe Carrillo Puerto, who was the governor of Yucatan from 1922 to 1924. And I'm pretty sure it was right here. Him, three of his brothers, and eight of his friends were shot dead um, by a rebellion against the Mexican president that he wasn't supporting. But what's also significant about this mayor is that, or governor, is that he, um, he did a lot of great things for the Mayan people. He took a lot of land back from, um, the rich people who had taken their land and gave it to him. He did a lot of things for women ri women's rights, and his heart was in a good place in general, I think. Um, and he definitely, like the changes that he made, have still um, stood. There's a lot of land that the Mayas now own that people can't buy, so, and he definitely helped them restore some of their rights. And, um, yeah, I mean, he was definitely a very significant person in Yucatan 
and an important person for the Mayas. But another piece of his story is that an American journalist, Alma Reed, had come here in the 20s when he was governor and they fell in love and she was back in San Francisco getting ready for their wedding when him and his brothers and their friends um, were taken here and were shot. So she continued to do her journalism work um, and she did a lot of speaking about like the Mayan artifacts being stolen which is another thing he did was um, preserve the artifacts make them like national treasures so Alma Reed is here somewhere um, so anyway yeah she went on she lived until 1966 and um, governor Puerto wrote a song for her that I will insert here. saying it's a memorial for um, my sons Felipe S. Edicio, Benjamin E. Welfredo Carrillo Porta assassinated on the 3rd of January 1924 and it's from their mom. Aww. That had to have been quite the hit, right? All of her kids, four of her sons, murdered. Ouch. Well, no good deed goes unpunished, as they say. So there you go. There's the Melopedia version of Felipe Carrillo Puerto. Sorry, it's just the Melopedia version. I don't know why actually there isn't more like movies and things done about this guy. There's a lot of towns and stuff named after him, but it doesn't seem like a history that's as well known as it should be because he made a big difference. but I'm going in for you. Come on, Melita. It's not nighttime. It's not creepy. Yeah, it's creepy. It's creepy. It's just all stacked one on another. I really wish somebody else was here. Ooh, butterfly. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> okay, that was just the wind. <laughs> I'm such a baby. <laughs> Nothing to see there. Oh my god. I don't even understand. Why is this creepy? Like, this is creeping me out, and there's no reason, right? Ah, I just stepped on a leaf. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a baby. I don't know, it's just lonely, and these are graves, and...
Okay, I did it. I got to the end. There you go. Going back now. Peace and love to all of you. Rest your souls. Okay. She scared me a little. Very pretty. Okay. Almost there. Do do do. All right. Let's see what else we can find. Feeling better now that we're back on the main street. Oh, I don't know why that's so scary. Like logically, I know it's just cement. Even if it's bones, like who cares? Oh, the puppies. The cemetery has lots of puppies that live in it. Hola, amigos. Can I say hi? I won't bother you. Oh. Hi, are you friendly? Please don't eat my face. <laughs> hi, beautiful. Oh, your eyes are gorgeous. Hi. Hello. I'm not going to hurt you guys. I just want to walk. Will you walk with me? I'm a little scared. Will you come with me? I think this is creepy. Come with me. I need some dogs. Come on. Come with me. Will you show me? Will you give me a tour? Hi. Come on. Come with me. Come with me. I'm scared. Come with me. Come on, buddies. Have you been down here? Do you know any of these people? Seriously? You're not coming? Dude, come on. Come on, puppy. I'm scared. Rude. Oh, kitties live here too. Hi, kitten. Hi. Do you know if any of these are open? I'm looking for some bones. Whoa, that rose just all overgrown. Wow. Why wouldn't that dog come with me? way to go because I kind of want to see what that is way back there wow I've come here a lot but I've never walked through these paths and definitely not alone Man, this just goes on and on and on. Hey, you found me. Look, it's my friend. Hi. You did come. Thank you. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Will you show me the way out? Hello, hello. Thank you for coming. Come on, which way should I go? But I already saw that way, what's this way? Oh. All right, you wanna show me somebody? 
Dude, your eyes are so beautiful. Look at you. Thank you for finding me. I was scared. Aww. You're beautiful. Can I say hello? It's okay. I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. It's okay. I don't want to scare you. Aww. Thank you for coming. Let's look it around. This way? What's this way? Will you show me over here? Is it scary? I'm sorry. I wish I had some water. Is it okay this way? Alright, you show me. I'm following. Thank you for the tour. Wait, was this a tour or are you like luring me to some crazy dangerous stuff? Where are you going? I can't believe you found me. Oh, like it's, oh, you want some water? Look, should I turn this on for you? Come here. Do you want some water? Here. Yeah. some water so no all right what's this way I'm coming I'm coming oh you just literally pissed on the grave. That dog's awesome. Hi, kitty. Can I make you famous? Do you have a Facebook account? I can tag you. What about Instagram? Twitter? All right, nice meeting you. There's more dogs. I don't want to surprise them. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm super friendly. Are you friendly? Hi. Hello. That's my friend. And he says don't eat her face. That's so cute that he's following me. I don't want to give him the wrong impression, but I appreciate the company. Okay, Melida, this is Merida's Cemetery and some of the puppies. Um, if you are ever in Merida, be sure to visit the past residents of Merida. Make some friends with dogs, get creeped out if you're easily scared, and get a bright red face if you're sweaty and turn red as easily as I do. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you for the tour, sweetheart. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. Come here, come here. Let's get out of the road. Bye, my friend. Bye bye. Mucho gusto. Oh, you're so pretty. Bye. Goodbye. I love you. Yes, I love you. Oh, you're a sweetheart. This is a good place to live, though. Bye, beautiful. Whoa, I crossed through the gate and I was gonna turn around to take a photo of that dog and it just is gone. Like gone, gone. Maybe it was a ghost dog. Weird.